Oh, you need so much room to swing this thing. <laughs> that was a green tree. <laughs> that was that. Ah. So here's the thing with the Giant X. You gotta slow down. If you're used to swinging, especially what was previously called the Boys Axe, which I have now officially redubbed the Felling Axe, you're used to this this much faster pace. And if you try to maintain that, that pace with a big axe like this, uh, this custom job from North Point Axe, this is a six pounder he did for me personally. We call it the Baffa or the big ass felling axe. But you gotta say it with that pause, big ass felling axe. Uh, I, uh, I still haven't quite figured it out yet. But, uh, it thunks. I mean, we're pulling big chips, even from down out of the middle of the wedge. Yo, it's a little easier to get big chips off the top. And I mean, it's not like it's impossible to get them out of the wedge either, but it's less likely. I will say it's harder to come in from that weak side angle. I think it needs a a steeper strong side and then maybe just a a uh, a much more vertical weak side almost like you were felling it because it's hard to get that uh that big old head in at an angle from the weak side I feel like this is a place for a that's what she said joke, but I'm not coming up with it. Hey, this goes on for a really long time. I'm gonna skip ahead. Uh, it took me 14 minutes and like 32 seconds for the entire clip, but that's with a lot of stopping for breaks. Uh, I realized watching the clip that I should have never been trying to buck that thing while it was suspended in the air like that. Uh, ridiculous. Uh, and I talked one time about the the weak side and you kind of see that with the swings I'm having a hard time controlling the impact from the weak side uh, that means when you're coming in from the left for me you're left-handed to be if you're coming from the right but you know when you're swinging from the right side that's your strong side and then you kind of cross over and come in for me from the left that's that's my weak side and you can kind of see the the axe bouncing around when I'm making those swings it doesn't help that the tree's suspended in the air and you see it absorb the half of every blow. Uh, but I'm just going to skip the boring parts and and try to get just the, uh, the embarrassing parts. <laughs> I'm a little surprised. how much this thing is kicking my butt because I've told you some of you before I split 
You know, we heat our house entirely with firewood. And I split that with a, a usually a 10 pound maul, but sometimes a, uh, an eight pounder, but usually the 10 pound. So I think the difference is that that's much more of a, you know, a, a one big giant swing, bam. And then you stop for a minute and either get a new piece of wood or reset the old one. You don't have to reset the old one a whole lot when you're using the 10 pound maul. And the, uh, the steady, repetitive, continual swinging of this six pound ax is a workout. So this is why we shouldn't be doing that whole small ax thing. We should be working with the big heavy ax so that we're used to it. Oh, the small axe is easier to use so you can work longer. But you can work longer with a small axe, and there's no kind way to say this, because you're weak. Not that you are, you're, you're, you're weak, boy. It's not trying to be the Muhammad hijab of uh, axes here. It's just that you're not used to you swinging that weight. It's like I'm not. This is, like I said, I swing more than most men, but we're splitting all our firewood. And my dad heats his house all with wood, and I help him split some of his wood. And uh, my father-in-law heats his house all with wood, and I don't help him quite as much as my dad, but I help him some. Well, I don't help him as much as my dad. So, I split a fair amount of firewood from living in the south. I mean, not like I, <laughs> I live up there with Isaac in west northern Massachusetts, or Adam in Maine, or Adam in Alaska. I'm sure I'd split a lot more up there, but for living in northeast Georgia, I split, I swing a fair amount of tools. And, uh, this one is kicking my ass. It does look a little bit like a cartoon axe. If you've ever seen, and of course you have, who framed Roger Rabbit when he goes to get the, pist the cartoon pistol and it's this really big that's kind of what this reminds me of. It's a big ass felling axe. Okay. I'm not even being paying attention. Now, now I'm just talking. I guess I'll change sides. Will I? No. I won't. I gotta learn how to buck. Clearly, I don't know what I'm doing. Come on. These other things, other channels don't show you. So. You don't have to get an axe that's that big, but get a big axe. 
and get comfortable with using it because time comes you need one, you're going to want to be able to do the work fast. And they're not going to worry so much about nice. Because if what you want is easy, there's easier ways to get it. That's how you do easy.